Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today I'd like to present a little uh, review exercise on projecting geometry within an assembly. Uh, this sometimes confuses some um, some beginners, some people are just starting to work with parts and assemblies. They uh, A lot of people get confused about what happens when you use uh, geometry within the assembly. So I, uh, I devised a, a little exercise I do in a lot of my classes and this I like this one because I think it's pretty clear on helping people understand what happens when you project geometry. So I just have uh, three parts in an assembly and um, you'll just see I have them constrained um, about some of the planes so uh, we're not too worried about that but these are three individual parts. So I have my assembly. What I want to do is <clears throat> I want to get this hole on this plate back here. So what I'm going to do is I have plate one, two, and three. I'm going to go to plate three. I'm going to right click on the plate and I'm going to edit. You'll see that my other two parts uh, kind of go a little opaque and my uh, part three is active. So you'll see my toolbar comes up for this part for 3D modeling. I'm going to go to the toolbar and select a 2D sketch and place it on uh, either face. I'm going to put it on this back face of this plate. Now what I need to do is since I want to use this geometry, I want to project uh, that hole. So I'm just going to go project. I can either select the hole right here if I or sometimes if I'm lucky enough, uh, it's not going to work. You can see that I can if I play around, I can kind of sometimes catch it. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I always like to go find the edge that I want to work with. And I'm going to select that hole. So you'll see on my plate now, I have a hole projected on my sketch. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I don't need to do anything with it. I don't need to constrain it. Uh, you're going to see down below here, it is fully constrained. Uh, I don't need to dimension it it's borrowing geometry from another part so I'm going to finish the sketch you'll see that sketch is still visible I'm going to go to my toolbar and say extrude I'm going to cut that and I'll just say to next and say OK and you'll see that I have uh, an extruded part in there so I'm going to return and now I'm back in my assembly and I have a hole in my part uh, now Please be careful with this. Some of the errors that um, that are made often is a lot of people will try to uh, project that part and what they'll do is they'll start right inside of the assembly. And we don't want to make that mistake and I'll, and I'll show you why real quick. And I'm just going to go to my, yeah, I'm in the assembly. I'm going to go to my 3D model tab and I'm going to place a sketch. All right, and I'm going to um, place that sketch I'm going to project the geometry just like we did before. Oops, I didn't take there. All right, I'm going to project that sketch. I'm going to finish. I'm going to extrude, same as we did before. And I'll say uh, two, and I'll just use this face, and I'll say okay. And you'll see that I have um, a hole there. Now, what's the difference? Well, let's take a look here. I'm going to go to this part. I'm going to open to part one. I'm going to edit part one. So I'm going to edit. And I'm going to change that extrusion. I'm going to take that from a three and a half inch hole. And let's just make it, let's take it, make it smaller. I'm going to make it two inches. And I'll say finish. And I am going to return back to my assembly. And you'll see that all right, well that changed in, everything changed, right? So let's open the parts. I'm going to open part one and, and I know it's in there, so I'm gonna open and there's part one and if I measure the hole, it is two inches in diameter, excellent. So I'm going to go to part two and what, do you, what should you expect here? Well, you think the hole's going to be in it, right? So if I open it, there's no hole. That's what I wanted to explain to you. There's no hole because you that is an assembly feature. You're going to see that I have that extrusion up above 
in my uh, features. This only exists inside the assembly. This is where a lot of people make some mistakes. They start adding some features inside of an assembly and then they go back to the part and they wonder where it is. So what I'm going to do is, let's, just to avoid confusion, let's delete that. All right, and I'm gonna say yes. All right, now let me open part three. And this is the one we projected by editing this part. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say open, and there the part is. And yes, it will be two inches. Excellent. All right, so let me, uh, let me close some of these parts. I'm not gonna, let's just say no and um, part two, we'll close that, and we'll even we'll just get back to the assembly. So um, now you see, uh, and it does it updates uh, it updates the the whole, which is really kind of nice. So does that happen with the entire part? And a quick answer to that is no. So what I want to do is I'm going to edit this part again. I'm going to right click and say not open. I'm going to edit the part. I'm going to edit it in place. I'm going to place a sketch on the top side here, the upper portion, and I'll just place a circle. And I'll make this, um, we'll make this four inches. Let's see if we can go big. And I'll just say finish, and I'm going to extrude, and also cut that and I'll say two next and I'll say okay. So now I have two holes in here and I want to see if it's going to affect my third part. I'm going to return and no it will not affect my third part. So that's uh, one of the things we gotta we want to make sure that we address. So how about if we project that onto this second part so let's do it the correct way, just like we did this part in the beginning. I'm going to right click on part two. I'm going to edit part two. And I am going to add a sketch. And I can do it on either face. I'll even do it on this face this time. So I'll just put it on that face. I'm going to use a project command. And I, again, I like to be able to turn the model so I, I make sure that I get which surface which edge am I looking for? Now this is a straight cut through hole, it's not a big issue, but sometimes you have maybe a beveled edge or a plate at an angle. You want to make sure you get the exact edge that you want to project. So I'm going to project that edge. You're going to see it's going to show in part two. And again, once again, it's fully constrained. I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude. I'm going to do a cut feature again and I want to go to next and say OK and I will return so now I've got you know two separate holes and um, I'm going to go to my original part part one let's edit that again and let me change a couple of the holes here so I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this hole and let's make that one we'll go back to 3.5 again all right I'll finish that sketch and the top hole here let's make that one let's let's send that one back down I'm going to double click and edit and let's make that one 1.5 and I'll say finish and you'll see that my part is updated I've got a inch and a half and uh, and 3.5 so let's see what happens when I return to the assembly my holes catch up right away so now I've got a inch and a half hole here and I have a three and a half inch diameter here and you're gonna see that both of these have this little red well on mine uh, red and blue uh, adaptive circle it's telling me that it's adaptive because this hole is adaptive to part one hole and this hole over here is adaptive because it's getting its geometry from this hole here. All right, That's just a quick little explanation on um, on changing some of the parts. Uh, the only thing I wanted to make sure that uh, I bring up is if I open a part. So I just opened part two. Back in the assembly I cannot, you're gonna see that my edit is grayed out. 
I cannot edit a part in an assembly while it is open exclusively. So in here I would have to go back in and change any geometry on this part in the in the open part. So in case uh, you have something open you forgot to close it and you want to try to go back and edit that part uh, all you have to do if you want to edit within the assembly just close it and now it is available to edit within the assembly. So that's it just a real quick tutorial on the basics of projecting within an assembly. I uh, hope this was uh, some valuable information for you and uh, it clears up a few little uh, misconceptions or thoughts that tend to crop up. So um, that's it. Again, I'm Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, have yourself a great day and hope to see you soon. Take care.